Myth number five, you shouldn't take probiotics when you have antibiotics. Ah, the dreaded antibiotics debate. Now, we know that antibiotics are like a nuclear bomb on our microbiome. They take out the good and the bad. And the ugly. But when should we start repopulating the army? Yeah, because probiotics are bacteria, so surely they get killed off as well. Well, you'd think so. And that has been considered the truth for a long time. Type. Um, <laughs> it's considered a waste of money to take probiotics with antibiotics because they're going to be killed off anyway and people wait till after the antibiotics to take the probiotic to repopulate it. But there is no studies coming out to show that this might not be the case. Uh, in the gut health arena, the research moves fast and furious. So it is incredible, to yeah. be fair. Um, and they've managed to identify some very robust strains and we're now going to attempt say these ones, the incredible hulks of the strains if you will. First one, L. Ramanotherus Russell 11, rhinoceros, that's, that's robust, rhinoceros that sounds a bit like a uh, hulk hero. And L. Acidophilus Russell 52, that was quite that good was out there, there, are able to survive and reach the gut even when taken at the same time as antibiotics. Mm. Now, there is research uh, and studies to show that they do, so insufficient quantities, so it has to be right concentrations, mm -hmm. uh, to keep the levels of friendly bacteria topped up to significantly reduce the likelihood of getting antibiotic associated diarrhoea. Which ain't good. No. I always get a dicky tongue after antibiotics. Is that a bit TMI? Yeah. No, I don't mind. Pretty I mean, sure. we sure don't. Um, so, there's new studies coming out, it's all really exciting, let's see what the future holds. Takeaway fact, actually here, I think it's good to shoehorn in the end, uh, is that approximately 70% of your immune system's housed in your gut. There you go, eh? It's a miracle. Everybody's a school day. <laughs> <laughs>